Now I want to take a step back because I think it's important because a lot of people who are watching this, mm -hmm. they, they, they look up to you. If you're starting a line, how important is it to travel? You mentioned Italy fashion. Mm -hmm. You know, we, is it important to see the world before you start a line or is it more important to just understand who you're marketing your line to? Both. And, really? You have to, you, listen, you have to know the, the landscape of what your competition is and what's happening out there, right? Um, so you have to study it and understand it. The internet puts you right there. You don't really have to travel. The internet puts you right there. But if you want to get into business and whatever your product is, know the, know the landscape, know the platform, know what other people are doing. What's, what's, why do you think this product is important to whomever you're trying to reach? We call it the white space in, um, in the fashion industry. What is the white space that's not there right now that, that, that is needed? And you have to really ask yourself, and a lot of people are not truthful with themselves. They really have to ask because they're so excited about that business and getting started. They have to be truthful with themselves and test it out on people. Test it out on people that's not your aunts, uncles, cousins, your brothers and sisters. Go to real people and say, what do you think? You know, we test our fragrance out really in Brooklyn mm -hmm. on Flatbush Avenue right here. We test it there. We test it on 125th Street. We test it in Atlanta at Lenox Mall. We'll take a thing, a little, you've seen it, a little vial, and we'll spray people. And real people, what do you think? What do you think? That's the, that's the real opinion. That's the real opinion. Right? So we do that. So before we put the next fragrance out, we'll have people out there for three, four days. What do you think? And we'll write, they'll write down the comments. Because that's real. No. It's the real, real. We yeah. can't get no realer than that. Right? Because other ways that people test products, I'm talking about testing of products, but you can obviously hire a focus group if you have money to do that. But if you don't, test it on people randomly. What do you think of this? What do you think of that? They're going to tell you the real truth. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.